This video will briefly explore the notion of the utility of violence. It connects to the course through area of study four, which is about crises and responses. And in particular, it can be used for explaining some of the ideas around war and terrorism and why they occur. So the utility of violence is about violence employed as a means of achieving one's political objectives and we commonly see it occurring through war and states waging war against other states or global actors. In understanding the term, the phrase can be used in many different ways, as there are a number of ways in which a state can achieve their political objectives. So if we consider for a moment the many different instruments states can use to help them succeed in their goals. For example, let's use the term utility of diplomacy. We could use this phrase to show where diplomacy is used in the global political arena to achieve certain political objectives. And this could involve um, participating in institutions of global governance as well as international cooperation. Similarly, we could use the term utility of aid to explore how some states and actors provide or receive aid in order to help them maintain or increase their political power within the global arena. From these examples, it becomes apparent that there are different ways in which global actors can achieve their goals, but the utility of violence is commonly used to discuss conflict and terrorism and one type of action that can be useful for states and global actors in terms of these two ideas. So America saw the usefulness of violence in order to achieve one of its political objectives. And this objective involved getting rid of Saddam Hussein in Iraq. So in order for the US to achieve their political objective of liberating the oppressed people of Iraq, they used a form of power and they used violence through war to achieve their objective. So violence had a usefulness. So through conducting war, America demonstrated their strong military power and their ability to use modern day weaponry, weaponry against a smaller, less able state. This is an example of the US using violence, so seeing the usefulness of violence to achieve their objectives and national interest. Jamar as the Mia, the radical Islamic group, also use violence in order to voice their political beliefs in Southeast Asia. So Jamar as the Mia are a terrorist group. They look down on Western influence within the region, and therefore they have been notorious in using violence in order to be rid of these sinful influences. And their hope, of course, is to achieve more power within the region. The one specific example of J.I. adopting the notion of violence and using it in a useful manner for their objectives was the 2002 Bali bombings, where they killed 202 people. Um, there was the attack on the Marriott Hotel in 2003 involving a car bomb. These examples demonstrate how J.I. use violence to remove Western influence and to spread their cause or beliefs in order to achieve a pan-Islamic state in this region. One final example is that of Detachment 88. So Indonesia has formed this counter-terrorism group with the aim to combat terrorism. However, this group also uses violence in a particular way. It uses violence in order to help Indonesia to maintain their sovereignty to protect their borders, maintain power within the, straight, within the state. So by eliminating separatist leaders, separatist leaders in West Papua, for example, through violence, we see that violence has a usefulness to them. Thus, it demonstrates how the state is willing to use violence against civilians in order to maintain political power.